sense to change the noise. You're, ma you're, you're not making sense. What well, like your prophet did receive revelation? Because your prophet was shaking when receiving revelation. Do you want me to go there or we're going to have a conversation? Okay, then bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, if you don't want me to insult the prophet, do not insult me. Okay? That's what I said, people. Do not insult me and then I won't insult your prophet. He was. He was talking about shaking again like every Muslim here does. Who cares? Who cares what my body does? I could be naked right now. What does that matter? <laughs> what, does that, what does that actually matter? You know what I mean? Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Yeah. Hey, no, 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 Pew Research says that Islam is like an open door, right? A swinging door, in fact. People are going in and they're coming out of the Muslim religion because they're learning about it and then leaving. You understand? So it's, it's not enough to say, oh, I'll follow them then because they're proud. No, because There's a they ton have, of Catholics right now in this country. They have spirit. They, they so have the answer. Catholics? They did. Not now. How do you know that? Because your kids are learning Have you LGBTQ? gone outside of Vatican City at all? Huh? Have you no, gone I'm out? talking about okay. Christian nations. You're going to see more Christians outside of Vatican City, or at least Catholics, outside of Vatican City than you would this small you're minority people here. You're talking about the most religious place, Christian place in the world. I'm talking about the British society that was built on Christian values. That's well, not the most Christian place. It was built on... The Vatican is not the most uh, Christian place. It's not the most Christian place, no. Okay. I don't believe they're Christians. I'm just saying, like, Catholicism is not Christian. But I would say there would be a majority of them who will be chanting out Dea's vote the same way as these lunatics are shouting out wherever they want to. You it doesn't understand. mean anything's true. Right? It doesn't mean that Islam's true. Okay? There's just one thing I want to get to you. Bro, I, I, I'm not being emotional about this. I'm just telling you. I'm not being emotional yeah, either. <laughs> but, but like, no, no, that's why I'm saying this, is that that will grab more people's attention than any words you guys say. You guys can sit here and talk to one or two people. Right, but Christ says that the road to salvation is narrow. But you're not helping Many, the... Many will not believe anyway. Okay? So, so why are you doing this? I'm doing this for those few who will believe. So you would... But you, Jesus you need Christ to do says in the Gospel of John chapter that. 10, in the Gospel of John chapter 10, Jesus Christ says he leaves the 99 sheep and goes to the one. To there is you. one Christian in this great, park that great, needs to hear the Gospel. Great, great. I could care less about the majority of dogs great. and swine. I, Jesus says don't even cast your pearls before the dogs and swine. You need to create an atmosphere like that if you want Christianity to come back. It's no, like, I don't. So they're not as many did you people... Go, did, did you hear about the Tommy Robertson protest yesterday? Those are the last Christians left. The new they're not generation. the last Christians left. Okay, in the school There's right many now, Christians who didn't have the opportunity to get there. Uh, the curriculum is based upon a liberal ethic. It's not based upon Christian ethics. That's where you got this wrong. So if, it, if you're viewing... LGBTQism based yes, liberal, on... A, yes, liberal. Yes, liberal. That's what you're saying. Yes, exactly. Okay. So it's not a Christian nation. So it's not nation. based upon... I didn't say it was a Christian nation. Hold on, hold on. Did I say it was a Christian nation? To you? Did Do you I say no, it doesn't matter if you said it. I believe it is. Well, it does it. matter so, to what so I said. So Britain was never because a Christian I'm a Christian. Nation. Was it ever a Christian nation? At one point, yes. So now it's not. Why? Why? Yeah. I could ask you the same thing. I can answer okay, it Spain, as well. Spain was a Muslim nation. Why is it not longer a Muslim nation? Yes. Uh, does that mean that Islam is false now because Spain is now Catholic? No, I'm talking about the trends now. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I am. You're just not making an argument. No, no. That doesn't. Pre okay. Just you're, because you many, just, 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 just because many people believe something does not mean it's true. For example, majority in this country are atheists and liberals. Yes, it does. Okay. The truth is. Okay. The truth so it's is, is, is liberal. Is the, the liberal agenda? Is the LGBTQ movement true? If most people believe it, you're going to okay. have to say it. Okay, so then that means difficult. that a majority of people in this country are right when they say that it's okay to have let, sex with men if you're a man. Let me ask you something, yeah? If you me said majority is true, no, right? Hang on, let me ask you something, yeah? yeah. A hypothetical. If, if you had to lie and say that a man is a woman because your job relied on it, your family relied on it, X, Y, Z, how many people, including yourself, would actually tell the truth and say a man is a woman? I can ask you the same thing yeah. about Sharia law in Islamic countries. Oh, I Imagine I go to those Islamic Islam. countries. I can't say anything about Muhammad, right? Otherwise, shit. I'll get my head I don't chopped give a off. Shit about Muslims. I'm talking about You're not a Muslim? No. You didn't tell me you weren't a Muslim. Yeah, but why did you? didn't tell me that. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know. Because you were defending Islam. You were saying that Muslims, Muslims will be trusted more than me. I'm talking about 
about the energy. But you're defending it, so of no, course I'm going to assume you're a Muslim. No, he just don't defend it. He said okay, how am I supposed to know the difference when I've got a ton of Arab Muslims coming to my face, yelling Alu Akbar, and you're defending them? All right? How much you should have made it when, clear that you wasn't a Muslim. When did I defend it? You just defended it a minute ago. What did I say exactly? You said the truth. But you said that people will be more likely to follow this crowd of Muslims. No, why? 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 What, because they're shouting? Yes! Energy counts. Energy but that's and not spirit counts. Okay? There are many Catholics that shout out there's fault and hell more Mary. That doesn't mean anything. If me and you are talking right now like we are, and the pa three Palestines there, more people will listen to the three Palestine thing and maybe start thinking three, three Palestine. Well, because people make noise. So what you're saying is because people make noise, therefore what they say is true. The louder you are, the louder your voice okay, is, there was the millions, more people you can reach. There was millions in this country and there will be in July going after Billionaire. the pride. Millions, not millionaires, okay? There was millions going after the pride parade, going to protest at the pride parade against um, anti-gay, Islamophobic, sorry, Islamophobic and homophobic okay. rhetoric, right? Okay. So there was millions of them doing that, yes, right? Amazing. So does that mean that the LGBTQ movement is true? So let me tell you something, right, about the movement. No, you want, no you I don't want to hear about the movement. I'll answer your question, okay? Is it true? Is it true? I don't because believe there's much. The truth. Okay, okay, right. you don't believe in objective truth. Yes. Well, that, that's stupid, isn't it? No, it's not. Because, because you made an objective truth thing. claim just then. I can say, okay, if you want me to say I believe and I think before every statement, that's just mental masturbation, all right? It's, it's not. It it's is. me asking you a question, you're replying listen, with a statement listen, about I'm, what I, you think. I can you're telling me you don't have opinions. No, no, I have opinions, and okay. everything I say is my opinion. It's just like everything you say is your opinion, right? Yeah, and that's why I can say and, and if. I can say those things because it's my opinion, right? I can say, I can make objective statements as my opinion. I don't have to say I believe and I think. But if you don't believe in objective statements, then it's just nonsense coming out of your mouth. So no, why would, I believe in why would you, reality. Why would you say things that are nonsense to you? That doesn't make any sense to me. If, 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 if there's no objectives, then what you're saying right now to me is subjective. I don't have any right to listen to you. Nobody should even take you seriously. And you, people probably don't, and some people do, but more people take that seriously. Then why speak? Why speak? Because again, because you don't believe in objectives. You just said the truth, that's an objective. So my truth. Do I have to say, I think, I, I already said I don't okay. want to Okay, so I, I mean, I, I want to do a thought experiment here. Right? I've done this to, to another yeah, atheist up the road, right? I'm not an atheist. Oh, yeah, I know you're not an atheist. So maybe you're an agnostic. I don't know no, what you I are. I believe right? in God. You believe in God, so you're a Muslim? I, I believe in the idea of God. Why, you do believe you in idea of God? Why do you only have to be Muslim to be I, I'm assuming you're a Muslim. You're, you're, you're bringing a lot of Islamic rhetoric to me. I mean, I've done this for like four years. Islamic rhetoric I have brought? Well, you tried to defend child marriage earlier on just around me. When did I say you that? You literally just did that. What? Literally just here. Literally just here. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, my dude. No, like, you're saying I'm trying to impress people. Yeah, no, no, like, I've never said that. You know I haven't. Uh, like, we're talking person to person. You okay, know I, 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 I know what you said. That's fine. But it, the, what you said was is that there's no objective truth, right? Uh, we all live in our own subjective realities. Okay, so is that claim itself an objective or subjective claim? My opinion is subjective. Okay, so everything you say is subjective. And just like everything so, you say is subjective. So nobody should take you seriously then, should they? So no one to take you seriously by the same logic. Not really, no, because I have a foundation. I'm no. saying that there are objectives, you're saying they're wrong. No, you're saying this is the truth, which is your opinion. Yes, Jesus and Christ. Sit, and I can sit here and say this is the truth, but it's all subjective realities. No, no, you're assuming it is, but you don't have a ground or basis for that. You're saying all things are subjective, which is contrary to your claim, because your claim is there's no objective truth. So, um, are you following this? Following you can't make the objective claim that there's everything subjective no, and yet reality, state that, that, that there's no objective. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand completely. That's, that's and, and stupid. Let me tell you why I believe this, right? Why okay, I believe okay. this? Because we live in a comparative world where objectivity is for the uh, common man of society, the common man, such as yourself, who believe in these values and principles such as Christianity, they will be able to just like live life and be a good societal member and help people around, which is needed for society to continue. You just said good life, you assume too much. You're, you don't believe in objectives, so what's a good life? A good life. Yeah. A good life is a, go a life where you help other people. Okay, who... who? I'm going to say to me, so okay. give you this gift. Okay. So uh, who, who, who tells you what, what, whether that's true or not? Is it just your opinion? It's based on my own personal experiences. Do you lock your doors at night? Of course. Okay, why do you do that? Because if you don't lock your doors, there's a risk that someone might enter. So it's objectively true that there's a risk that somebody may, may enter? No, in my reality, I don't want people to enter, so I'd lock the door. Right, but that's deluded if I it's subjective. Because then if it's, the, if it's the case that there's no possibility that somebody could enter your, your house, the, it's deluded if you lock it in the first place I, I because you've that. just said I there's no there objective. A, I believe there is a possibility. If you think I'm wrong okay. in that, then So, so there's an objective risk no, factor. I believe that. Right, that's an objective rule. I, my belief is objective. So you, you know what I'm saying? Your option of locking the doors is, is based upon an objective presupposition that somebody may go to your house. 
in my subjective reality, which I've seen experiences of and statistics of people entering if you don't lock your door, then of course, and people have entered my door when I didn't lock it, that would mean that to be competitive, I'd lock my door at night. But is there, is there a chance you wouldn't do that? No. So then you're, you've, you've accepted that this is an objective truth, right? In my reality. In your reality? In my subjective reality. Okay. So I, I want to know how far you'd push this then yeah, in your yeah, reality, please, right? Please, okay, mean, let's say the worst instance possible, right? Let's say murder and rape of a child. Is that wrong? Yes. According to who? My subjective reality. Your subjective reality? Yes. What if I say it's right in my subjective reality? Then, you're, then I think you're a bad person. According to who? My, my subjective reality. Right, but if I think you're a bad person, I want you killed and anybody yeah, else. You're a devil, okay. and I'm a god-fearing person because you want to get, you want to keep. But what, what god? You, you just said god is the subjective, right? God. Wait, well, the idea of god is subjective, according to you. Let me to ask you. Let me pause okay. the scenario. So to my you. god Wait. told me that it's okay to do those raping. You say it's wrong. That's so not who, god. Who, that's devil. According to who? That's your objective truth. According to my brain, which can. I, I deny your brain, right? Well, you can deny Let's stand it, that's my subjective. So right now we're going to stand before a court of law, right? Yes. Right. Well, should the judge favour you or me? Not, not these guys. Should the judge favour you or me? Let's say I agree with child rape, you do not. All right? I'm putting a burden on myself. I shouldn't do, but putting a burden on myself. Let's say I say it's okay, you say it's wrong, right? Yeah. Should, should, they, should they go in your favour or my favour? If we live in a God-fearing society, which we don't anymore in the UK, the God would favour me because that's what God tells us not what to do. What God? The values and morals that society... Yeah, your God is subjective. My so, God. Yeah, like, what, who the judge can really say is, well, it's your opinion versus his. So, yeah, I'm going to let this guy go free. That's, that's what happens when there's no morals in a society. And that's, but that's what your that's what your ethical presupposition is. No morals. My ethical presupposition. No, I, I live there's by no the morals morals in your religion. That's, no, that's why I'm saying that the idea of God. I will subscribe to all morals that are beneficial to society. But like I believe in respect. But your idea is subjective. You're not following, okay? Yes. Your idea of God is subjective based upon You're what you right. think God is, right? Yeah, right. Okay? <laughs> if I say that my God said to me yesterday that it's okay to go out there and do some slaying of vampires who I think are white men dressed in suits, would that be okay? No, in my head. In your head, right? And we stand before a court of law, right? Right? Is it okay for a judge? A I'm saying a court of law in this country. We have a court of law. Right? We stand before the judge. Is it okay for him to say that I should go to prison? For what? Sucking vampires or something? What, what no, was killing, killing vampires. Killing vampires. Not sucking, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Bruv, I if he's a God-fearing man who believes in... Well, but you haven't even established what God, because I just said my God said it was okay. You're, you're, you're going in circles right now. There's only two real, like, strong belief gods, right? And that according was, to who? According to, to two people, the, the two biggest ones, which is Christianity and Islam. Right? Oh, so you're, you're appealing to the Christian God now? No, I, it was like that. But now so it's that, not. My, my question is, if yeah. we're on, in the court of law, and we've got a judge That's sitting right there, winning. right? We've got a judge sitting right there, right? And I'm saying it's okay to go after children. You're saying it's wrong, right? In your worldview, you should say to the judge, don't, don't judge him because it's Why? his view versus mine. No. And all, all, like all morals are subjective. Society can't function oh, it like can't that. function yes, like that. I agree. I've so again, there has that. to be objectivity, then, then doesn't most it? most people for the common man. Oh, but no, I'm not no. the common man. I'm not the common man, though. You, but you see how stupid that is? No, it's not. You, you want objectivity no, outside of you, but ignore it. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. One thing. One thing. One thing. One thing. You're ignoring it, bro. Aye, aye. Now listen. Imagine, you, you'll never get to this stage, right? But the best people, the most productive people, compared to people in the world, they don't have your moral standards and they're freer than you. How do you know they don't have my moral standards? Because you're, a, I assume you're a very devout Christian, you don't have to do interest. Okay, but right? how do you know they, 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 their upbringing wasn't built, built upon Christian ethics and morals? Because to be the most competitive person in this world, you need to believe in interest. Unfortunately, that's the system we live in and you can't do interest. Well, let, let me let me cue in Colonel Sanders, right? So Colonel Sanders earns a ton of money, right? Started the greatest, well, one of the greatest fast food the most chains, competitive right? people. But what, what I'm saying is, he's one of the wealthiest. Having interest he's one of the wealthiest. More is that true right? He's one of the wealthiest. It's Elon, Mon uh, Elon Musk does not have a religion, right? But his, his grandparents were Christians. So yeah. where do you get that from? Because well, he uses interest. He's not a good Christian then, is he? Right, but that, that's I irrelevant to the point. Yes, okay? it, no, I'm saying the presupposition, I, the people the don't presupposition ingrained into his moral ethics were Christian principles. That's the point. You want to bring some Arabian principles and tell me oh well they're doing better they would say that women no sorry they would say that child rape is okay you'll be allowed to molest kids in islam did you know that molest kids yes have sex with them have sex with kids why, yes why why would you be allowed to do that because the prophet did not he's the best example for mankind does it say it like in the yeah yeah okay, i'll show you it's crazy it's not in the quran it's in the hadith the hadith are the sayings of muhammad so he says just have sex with every child he didn't see he didn't say have sex with every child 
What I stated was, is that he's their best example and he had sex with a nine-year-old girl. He had a sex with a nine-year-old yeah, girl? Yeah, that's what it says. I can why? show you. Why do you have sex with a nine-year-old girl? The You're asking me why, bro. <laughs> why, why, why are you Christian now? They, all, they, they don't have marriage, they have old kids. Ask you. Huh? I don't know what it has to do with anything, uncle. No yes, Christian, they have kids, but they know marry. I, 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 I think you're confused about where we are. Okay, so I, I want you to read this out for me. Can you read it? I know my hands are a bit trembly, but... So just read it out. She was that, six, that's so she, was not, she was at nine, she was six, and then she... They were uh, married at, at six. And then nine. And then nine years old had sex, right? Why? Okay, you know, oh, so that's a good question, right? Why would that be accepted yeah, if this is from God? That's the question I ask. But, I don't know why. But I, I would go on, it's because their God is the devil. Do, do, you, want, do you want Christian values to, per, to come back, basically? Yes, of course do I do. Do you think it's going to work? I believe that when Christ comes back, yes it will. When Christ returns, his kingdom of God will be on earth and everybody will be judged. So the until the then, everyone's just going to be less and less Christian? It's going to be as it was in the days of Noah. I, I really do you know what I mean by Noah, right? Uh, no. But, okay, but no, so in Noah's the time, there was people, a lot though, of degenerate people. Most of people are not like this, though. Like, <laughs> do you understand <laughs> that the best people in the world, the most competitive people, like the... Yeah, the, best by one metric. Be, best in sports, best in business, best in uh, pol politics. But cool, that's subjective, though. That's your <laughs> what opinion do you mean, versus What the, do you mean? I, do they believe in religion, like, as deeply as you? The common man religion. But that's religion. their opinion versus yours. What, who, who cares? Who cares? There's many religious That's people that are sportsmen. What do you want about No, it? I'm saying that they don't hold the same values as you, as strongly as you, and that makes them more competitive. It's for the common man. The competitive man wouldn't believe it on the same level as you. Right, but that doesn't mean it's right, okay? You're saying that... No, that I want you to believe that's it. You're saying that's subjective. So I don't have to believe you it. You just said that's subjective, yes. right? You said there's no I've objectives, seen, yes. and yet you made the objective claim I that there are individuals yes. that are good at sports. That's an objective claim, sir. So you, just, you just rejected your own argument. There's people who say they're good well, at sports. That's good. That's what I mean. Even they were awesome. What's the, good? The, the, the fastest runner in the world is not good at running. You say what? It's subjective. It's subjective. Salonis could be the best. What? How do you know there isn't somebody in Africa who's faster than Usain Bolt? Because they haven't trained. Do you have no, any idea? How do you know they haven't trained? So you're telling me some random guy in Africa who's never been picked up and hasn't gone to the Olympics is faster than Usain Bolt who's trained every day? How do you know that? That is crazy. How, but how do you know that? Are you guys, be honest with you, how do you know okay. that? How do you know there isn't somebody part of the Sentinel tribe who's literally legging it through the forest trying to catch cheetahs? In my subjective reality, you say most the fast man. If I see any evidence otherwise, then I'll say it. Why would I go through mental masturbation and just say, oh, there because might be some random person? you said they were good sportsmen, saying something's good implies objectivity. It's not George just your subjective the opinion. Best. I, the, the, the best, the best, according to who? Best according to who? Me, you, the dog next the door? The person who got first place in the Olympics. Is that not good enough for you? That's an assumption, first of but all. An assumption to get first place. I'm, I'm saying it's an assumption that they're good just because they got first place. It doesn't mean they're so, good. So, so who's better then? Oh, who's better? What do you uh, mean running. Better? We're talking about running right now, not morals. We're talking about mo well, marathons, right? Though. Because it's, it's only, we're talking about morals in general, right? You understand, right? But we're talking about marathon running, right? So if I claim that Usain Bolt was the greatest, would I be right? At marathon running? Yeah. No. Okay, let's say, uh, what's his name? Can't remember his name. Mo Farah. Mo Farah. Let's say I was, I, I claimed he was the best. Right now? Yeah, best right now. No, he's not. Who's the best? I don't know, but you know it's not him. Okay, okay, well, let's just say subjectively he is the best. best. He's on the Why? top, right? Why would I according, lie? Why would according I lie? to, let's say, the metrics that we see in the World Champion Olympics, right? He is one of the highest rated individuals, right? So let's say he he's the time. best, right? Yeah, okay. And then somebody from Zimbabwe says, no, my guy is better. Okay. Who are you to say that he's Race. wrong? Because I've only seen it. this guy run. I this guy could no, be. No, but lying. who are you to say he's wrong and tell them? In my reality, I've only seen more. No, but who are you? But the thing is, I'm telling you, you cannot say he's completely wrong without acknowledging first that he's actually beaten this individual Mo Farah in a race. So you can't you can't claim yes, to can. have an objective truth there and yet okay. claim there is no truth, no truth in reality. I'll tell you why. Right? If Mo Farah gets it's, first it's, place, it's, it's, you're it's not speak now. Subjective. Subjective. Right. So it's subjective to see the guy win the Olympics three times in a row, and then saying that some random guy who's never run in his life could be faster than him. Yeah. That doesn't make sense Subjective. at all. But that, that How do I sense. know that like Tolu it's from Africa reality. ran faster than him because and I timed it. it? You've seen it on the TV. You've yeah, and him. I saw Tolu run faster, so yeah. yeah. That means you believe, that means you do believe that He objective. believes Yeah, it. you do oh, believe in oh, objective. Wow. Your but that's, he doesn't no, care, we're using his rationale. Tell me my rationale against me. Okay, so you believe, you believe that everything is subjective, right? Including every claim subjective we make about reality, truth. Subjective okay. reality. So if, if, we, if we live in a realities. subjective reality, yes. yeah, then the claim that there are good things and evil things are also subjective good themselves. Good certain things. I, a runner I don't is think better. you're actually getting this, man. You're no. talking about good and bad in morals, right? 
Uh, yeah, that was, that was the ground, but anything, really. Okay, if we're talking about morals then, good and bad, a person who fears God that preserves society, they are good people. What God? A God that preserves society. What's God? Okay, imagine, What's his name? I'll, I'll tell you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll give you an example right now. I'm agnostic, bro. I don't know who this guy's talking about. What guy? You're agnostic. Uh, yeah, I'm agnostic, bro. I'm just straight. Look, I come out of the pond. I'm agnostic, okay, right? Okay, I'll tell you what. Me and you, we got, imagine we got shipwrecked on an island. Like me and you, we, we're in a boat. We got shipwrecked. There's right. two There's two societies that we both go to. We go to separate islands. I go to one island, and they are like a tribesman, and they believe that we need to kill everybody who comes to this island, right? Who comes to this island, we don't want light outsiders. You, you go to an island that says, our God said, please preserve this person, be nice to him, treat him well. Who, did God just save your life or did he not? The idea of God just saved your life. No, really, I could just roll up in that island, pretend to be one of them and it doesn't matter and I'll kill anybody who comes to the side. So you'd lie? Is that not against God? You're but, not... but hold on, hold on. You're That's saying it's against my mindset. God, yeah. right? But you do not have a comparative. I'm just giving You're just you... giving your subjective opinion. That's so. no, the power of God is that strong. That what's the God's? Idea, You've not the idea even of it, God. The idea of it, I'm not talking about a what What do you mean the idea of God? Everyone believes in God, 50% plus. I watch you all the time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you so famous? there is are you no, no, I'm not famous, man. Jesus is famous. <laughs> like, there is no is subjective. There is no subjective form of God, right? Okay. God, God has a list of principles he gives to us, right? If I come down today and said to you, Jesus, by the way, told you that you need to kill yourself and cut your knob off, right? Or in the reverse order, no, cut your knob it. off and kill yourself, it. right? You wouldn't do it. But why wouldn't you do it? Because I don't prescribe to those moral standards. You don't? Yeah, to chuck my but dick off. I've said Jesus that God, should, I've, I've told you that God, should, you, you should do that because God told you to. That's your opinion. I'm not going to do it. That's not, that's not my opinion. I said God told you that. So, yeah, I don't believe in your objective truth about this idea of God, about your type of idea of God. Okay, so you're, you're saying that people can have an opinion about God, whether it be right or wrong, and you will still affirm that opinion based upon your subjective opinion. People can have an opinion on God, and I can. Whether it be right or wrong. Everyone has an opinion on God. Yeah, but people can have that opinion, yeah. and they can come to you and tell you to do this or do that, and, and if you think it. it's wrong, why, you why would do you do it? it? Well, yeah, that's a comparative like, way to look through life. But that's not a God. What's, okay, uh, the, the God, the, a, a God is the transcendental uh, lawmaker uh, for reality, right? Let me tell you something. A God would also lead us to the highest ethical moral standards. Do you agree with that? Uh, do you agree with that? Uh, the, if, if the pillars like this, imagine the standards are this, do all this, more people would be better. The highest uh, ethical uh, uh, moral uh, 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 standards, uh, uh, right? Uh, uh, if I believed in your idea of God, then it would be fine to believe in a Muslim God, which promotes killing apostates. I don't care about Muslims. Okay, I'm not saying you do. I didn't ask whether you cared about yeah, Muslims. I'm saying it will be Muslims. fine to believe in that God yeah. because your God is subjective to you. That means you can't tell another Muslim, oh, you have no right to go and stone that adulterer. That's fine. I, I wouldn't tell them that. You, know you wouldn't tell them that. You know, okay. And this is why your, your no, presuppositions no, no. are wrong. I wouldn't tell anyone anything. This is why, because honestly, I'm, I'm, the I'm less people that have your mentality, the better in this country. This is why we need a moral Christian ethic. Because if it was a Christian ethic, Ambition. It clearly teaches not to kill or stone people. The Bible says to I love your neighbor as yourself. So, I mean, I'm where's this individual Muslim. coming with Muslim, saying he would be okay with allowing another man to stone another I man? Care. I tell you, no, I would not be okay so with anybody stoning a person. So would I would, would not be okay it? with an individual would killing a person. Would, would I die? I would try to protect my family yeah, and those who I love. Of course, that's of the course. same with me. If someone tried to throw my but family, for you, it's, obje it's subjective. No, it's subjective. I, you just asked a random situation that if someone was getting stoned right there, you think I'd jump in with 10 guys there? I'd go the other way, and I'll be honest you with you. You wouldn't try to stop it in any sort of way. If I was going to get you killed. You won't call the authorities. I do, you won't I do, do anything. 100% I'll call the authorities, but I'm not going to jump in there and try and stop it being stoned. What if it's your own family? 100%, 100%. So, okay. People so, I care about. So you're saying that it's okay to preserve those you care about only? That's how society stays. When everyone cares about everyone, and everyone believes it's God, and the God says, that can't happen. Well, I, I'm going to pause it that my, my Christian ethic is higher than that, because the Bible says to love your enemy. Do good to those who persecute you. That's why it's higher, because it values the human being. The human being is far above just simple men. The human being has the image or the imago day of God. That's the important reason why you should believe in Christianity and not the ethics of this poor man, which leads to stoning people for no reason, murder, rape, and even the LGBT DPQ movement, I've which just it. your I idea just... will just pause it. Yeah. Okay, hey, so for example, what, what is wrong? What's what is wrong with being LGBTQ in your idea? In my eyes, I don't think it's a healthy mindset to think a man can become a woman because that does not live in the realities of the world we live in. If somebody says to you that I think it's okay, what's wrong? I, I, well, I'm not going to hey, go hey, there. Hey, 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 listen, listen. If somebody says it's okay, what? Do you want me to hold it? No, that's fine. Okay. If somebody says it's okay, okay. So if it's, it's okay, because I, you've said it's subjective, yeah. right? So if somebody says it's okay to do it, who are you to turn to them and say this is wrong? I wouldn't. 
You can't say it's wrong. No, I wouldn't. So, I wouldn't tell someone a random stranger. Hey, you need to believe what I'm I believe. I'm talking about a random stranger. I'm talking about the, the populace, right? So, what I, if I had power, would I tell people to a man is a man and a woman's a woman? Yes. Okay. So, they, so you'll be okay with imposing your laws on some people, right? No, the God's but you're one. not okay. I, I, I stick to I stick to something like. But you've already you've already shown me that your God is subjective, meaning that it's it's, it's your opinion versus mine. That doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm saying God has to be the objective reality. Otherwise, it cannot work, sir. If and God isn't the final lawmaker. Then we can't have higher moral standards. The only way we can get the objective reality right that you want so badly is unfortunately through Islam because no one's Christian here anymore, mate. Everyone's that, That's religion. irrelevant. That's irrelevant. No, you want objective I'm reality. Telling, I'm telling. So, so first of all, can you prove to me that the Quran has higher ethical moral standards than the Bible? I'm talking about populist people. The I'm not talking believers. about popularity. I don't care about. All, you can talk about all this. There's shit. many people during during the time of Hitler, right, who followed him oh. and his nation. Yet he killed and gassed tons of Jews. Now, I, I assume you would disagree with that. Yeah. Okay, so then it, that means that many people can follow things and they still be bad. No, okay? but uh, people are more spirited who are Muslim. You are a very spirited Christian. That doesn't mean Most it's Christians, right. Most Christians, they don't have high spirit, right? That they're not going to fight for it. That doesn't they'll mean fight it's for right. it. Well, they'll I, I, fight, I agree but they're going to win. They're going to win. They're not going to win. Uh, only Jesus, Jesus already won. Yeah, exactly. If Jesus comes back, then you'll be fine. But if it goes There's the no way, if. Jesus will come back. Okay, but if it goes the way it's going, you're going to get fucked and Christians are going to be finished. That happened during the Ottoman Empire. And it's going to happen again. Okay, so during the Ottoman Empire, didn't you see? The Crusaders came in, swept away the hordes of Mohammedan and destroyed their lands, took control of every single uh, mosque they built, turned them into churches. That happened. Does that mean, therefore, that the, the Crusader religion or the Catholic religion is right? No, I'm not. I, I don't believe You're arguing ad poplum. This is the ad poplum well, fantasy. I'm not. That, that is. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm arguing, you look mate, what I'm arguing, it doesn't matter because you're not listening to what I'm it, saying. It does. Okay, let me, in in reasoning and logic, I'm in reasoning and logic, when you, you argue with somebody, saying, when you use logical yes, argumentation, that's what we've right? been doing, we? if you argue from populace and claiming, well, the populace believe it, therefore yeah. it's right, it's fallacious and if because people, people can believe wrong things and still be right. For example, 100 years ago, people believed the earth was flat. Did you know if, that? If 50% if of people, my friend, believe in Islam, the society will be preserved here. If 50% of people or more believe in Christianity, the society will be preserved. If 50% of people. And yeah, in Arab people, countries, in Arab countries, the there's, actually, there's, there's actually convergence to Christianity. Do you know that? It's always convergence to each religion in every society. Right, but that's the point, right? It doesn't matter whether the populace believes but most, something or not. The, over the majority in this country. The society, my friend. You're just arguing for the sake of arguing. No, do you understand the, the, over 50%? The, the that's majority how you get in this objectivity. country do not believe in a religion, sir. So that's not an argument. Yeah, in this country, that's why it's failing. But that's failing according to your subjective opinion, which you just said is subjective. Yeah. So I don't have any reason to take you seriously. Whereas under the you Christian think I'm ethic, wrong. you think I'm wrong. Well, I have every right to. Because you think I'm wrong. That I, you can I? Can I believe that? Can I believe that you're wrong? Do you, do you think? No, do you, can you I believe you you're can, wrong? You can. But okay. Answer the question. Is do your you opinion subjective? No, but do you think that? Is your UK's, opinion subjective? Do you think the UK is failing? Do I believe yes. the Christian? What, the UK failing. Under the presupposition of the Christian ethics, yes, it is. But I would say the demo, the, the, the democracy the is failing. The democracy is fucked as well. Yeah. The democracy is failing. Yeah, Not the people. There are still Christian people in this country. How strong are they compared to the Islamic people? What do you mean, how strong are they? How, how strong world are they? You can't get the free Palestine you're, stuff. You're, you're taking a small minority of Muslims shown al Akbar and assuming that's the whole country. Well, how many Muslims How many Muslims do you actually know? How many Muslims? It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, because I know a lot of Muslims who don't believe in even coming down here and even debating. Why, why don't they want to debate? Because they're not into that. You see, that, that's the thing. It doesn't it's about matter about who cares. It doesn't matter who does what. But doesn't. that's your religion. It doesn't no, matter. No, it's not my religion. That's your whole religion. It I've doesn't never matter. Said it's my religion. So you're saying that things fell. Ah, you're you saying it's wrong to believe think. things, and yet you believe everything's subjective. That means based upon your opinion versus mine. Okay, that's stupid. It's contradictory to your own position. Oh, you want to take this back? All right, cool. Anyway, it's nice speaking to you, bro. What's your name? My name's John. John. Uh, what do you have a YouTube? Oh uh, yeah, Apologetics London. If you want to have a, you want to have a good look at that. We do discussions with different types of people. And I do live streams as well, so if you want to jump on those, feel free. But what are you doing? Right? Okay. Yeah, it's apologetics on you. My data's slow. No, that's fine, it's fine. When you've got time, you can look at it. Apologetics. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Fight. Yeah, there was some like, stupid fight that happened, yeah, but yeah. Uh, thanks for subscribing, bro, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. That's what we do, that's what we do. Just have a conversation, bro. No, 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 I don't take you seriously, bro. God bless you, man. Yeah, me, you too. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, man. I'll follow you on, 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 on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll follow, I'll follow you anyway.
Take the microphone, Simon. Go on. Yes. Can I pause it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah